we're only bloody going away, aren't we? It's only bloody finally happening again. Oh my god. So, we've taken the cover off the camper van. We have restocked her. We've cleaned her out. She's ready to hit the road for her second trip. Um, and yeah, all we know is we're going to head towards Lyme Regis kind of area. And it is already like half 12 or something like that in the day. So I don't know how far we'll get. She's a slow girl. She's precious, as you know. It's all we have planned. But it's got the week off. The sun is shining. And we're just going to hit the road and see what we come across. Absolutely zero plans. We have no idea what we're doing or where we're going. And that is how we like it. It's how you do it in a camper van, haven't you? No idea what you're doing. Finally, we're stuck in Northfield for like 15 minutes. Birmingham will not let us go. Let us go, Birmingham. Especially don't leave us in Northfield for the love of God. The sea is right behind the hill. Come on now, baby. What is the sea and what is the sky? It's very difficult to distinguish. So we bloody made it to Lyme Regis, didn't we? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. The Jurassic Coast, oh. I'm so happy to be by the sea. I can't even take it all in right now. I'm gonna have to get a beer. Oh my, that looks like a beer garden to me. With a view. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. So we just had a beer and a burger. Just came to Homebush Car Park. Long stay. Apparently it's free for overnight. Um, but we're gonna see. Park there. Gonna go for a little bit of a wonder now. No, no, we we don't. don't know. We I've will. Been in this vlog, yet, have I? You have not, my love. I'm not. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so, we're not supposed to sleep overnight, apparently. Shh. But if someone wakes us up, I'm going to tell them to fuck right off. So. Add a boy. Add a boy. That is literally what is happening. of driving for Scott, uh, made to Lyme Regis. We're gonna explore more tomorrow. Um, the car park that we were at actually has toilets. Um, I think on the reviews they say they lock them about nine or something and keep the disabled ones open. Um, and then they open back up in the morning. So we'll let you know about that. But that's good, there are toilets on site. It's a really big car park as well. So we're gonna keep it chill tonight, um, get an early night and we'll go exploring tomorrow. Morning. So nothing happened at night. We didn't get kicked out. Everything was absolutely fine. And we had a gorgeous sunrise a little bit earlier. Everything was super red, but I missed it. I just lay in the camp and I watched I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, this is the car park. All right, so we moved the car a little bit, but we're gonna stay in this car park. It's eight pound for the day. So <laughs> little Hitman is holding our ticket. <laughs> Cute. So um, I don't know if it's just me being paranoid, but whenever you park in a car park, especially when I used to live in Spain, I used to park in a car park, I always like park, you know, near ticket machines or near toilets, you know, where people are like crossing all the time. I'm not saying that anyone's gonna try and get into this van, but do you know, if you park in a corner in the middle of nowhere, like right at the back, then you're more likely to get, you know, broken into, I would say. Excellent tips from Chez this morning. Yeah. Also, I forgot to say, um, updates on the toilets, which are just there. Um, they do have a 24 hour one, which is like the middle one, the disabled one, and that stays open all night. So, excellent parking and spot. Have you showed the Hitman I did. Holder. That's gonna be our little ticket holder now. Queen. Okay. All right, let's go explore, shall we? Lime Rouge, just here we come, you ain't ready. As always, we're out super early, nothing's open, but I'm sure some coffee shops will open up soon, so we get coffee number two. Oh, Scott's mom would love it here. Well, she does. Ooh, all the fossils. Oh, the sea. I'm so happy. So happy. Feels like we're on holiday, proper holiday. Should we carry on trying to take that route we were walking last night before we went to get dinner? Yeah. Okay, let go. Council. You rented the whole beach for us? I rented the whole beach for us. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah. Thank you, Chess. Cost me £4.50. <laughs> Steep. I was saying to Scott, we've kind of come at the perfect time because it's spring, we've got gorgeous weather, all the kids are in school. Um, it's going to be a nightmare when the kids come off school for summer holidays and stuff. Yeah. But um, I can imagine the peak of summer, that car park we stayed in, is going to be 
full to the brim if it's free overnight. And we pretty much have and get the walk to ourselves. You know, if you're willing to get up early enough for it, which we always are. <laughs> when we're sleeping in the car park, we are. Well, yeah, why would we want to hang around? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Scott's like, I don't think you're allowed down there. I was like, uh, well, oh, <laughs> this wow. lady don't give a fuck then. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about fossils, but it feels like this one's like still in there because you can feel it underneath. And you can see all the ridges. Scott's going to come and investigate. He's not a fossil expert either, but I don't know. I've never played with fossils in the wild. <laughs> Other than him. I need your expert opinion. Oh wow! So that's the perfect example where you'd like crack into it. Maybe yeah. Oh God. something. Damn. Time for breakfast. Yeah. Got here just when they opened as well. Mm. No one's here. That's great. Got the whole terrace to ourselves. It's really nice. Well this my friend is a breakfast of champions. Breakfast of champions. Yes. Imagine living in one of these or having one of these little holiday camp homes. Yeah. Imagine living in right. one of these and having a bad storm. That too. <laughs> oh, shit, pants, I'm getting a good eye now for finding fossils. This one's bloody full of them by the looks of it. Then again, I thought that was the last one. <laughs> so I should have uh, worn my red backs. I, wore, I wear them every day, but today I decided, nah. Didn't realize the beach was gonna be, the, oh God, this rocky, but it'll be all right. I've got them on, got these on, we'll be fine. It'll be grand. Wow, we hit the jackpot at the end of the beach. They're literally like everywhere. <laughs> Crazy cool. I want one. But I don't want to pay £75 for one in a shop. <laughs> They're bloody everywhere. This is bloody cool. Bloody cool, mate. This is a great way to spend your morning, just walking down Monmouth Beach and just looking at all the fossils. The further you get, put some good walking shoes on. Trainers will be fine, but I wish I'd worn my boots, like I said. But I'll still ride and slip. Touch wood, I've got to go all the way back. Um, but it's really beautiful walk, especially with the weather. It's a little bit cloudy, but still really warm and nice. Uh, it's so cool. Like, I've never seen fossils like this. Like, I've seen a lot of things in my life. I think we can all attest to that, but... Never seen a fossil. And now I've seen like 300 of them in a day. In a morning. Bless life. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> well, we're gonna go to that hill today. Good morning, it's day three. Oh, I'm still waking up. I'll explain later. So, we're going to Colmas Hill, which is all dead ahead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you gotta come to Bridport, and then just follow the sign for Colmas Hill, but apparently it's a great view from the top. We have something else we're going to see as well, which is why it's a smuggler's lane or something like Hell's Lane. Hell's Lane. The old smuggler's little lane, apparently. Get a lot of fun. I just don't wake up. I think I need more back before we start the adventures. Right, I'll try and give you directions. We don't even know where we're going. Once you park up in the car park, you've got pigs. They have piglets. We'll show you later. And goats. And then we came through this fence gate thing. The view this morning is already looking spectacular. Whoa! <laughs> Gate number three! Well, that's a good enough sign for me. Shh! Alright, okay, so this should bring us out the back of Colmer's Hill. We'll walk up that after. Well, this is where the fun stuff should be. Amazing, all of these carvings. You can spend ages here just trying to look for more and more. Right, time to face the hill. Just gotta figure out how to get there. But if we just keep heading towards it, I think that plan might work. So cute. Oh, so we're kind of just circling the hill <laughs> from our path. It's okay, baby, we'll find you. <laughs> we'll get to you, I hope. Okay, so where the cute lambs are, 
we kind of whoo, just carried on walking, no stopping us. Um, but we went a bit too far and realized there's no gate, but there is a gate down here and we've seen people walk across this field. Um, so <laughs> the more you know. So you go, this one, day's starting strong, Chess. real strong. We forgot everything. So it's pretty steep, but we have some lambs on the path. <laughs> Go to mama. We made it! <laughs> Scott's dead. <laughs> to be fair, it is a steep climb, but... Sat chilling up here, enjoying the view for a little bit. So, so, so nice today. My god, we're being ambushed. Hello? Hello? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I've just been way longer here than we thought we would. Um, but I'm really happy. Like this little village. Just off the car park. Can't even call it a village, it's so tiny. There's a little cafe, a little shop. I'm sorry there's windy. Um, you see the pigs and the goats and the donkeys and you do your walks, it's great. Took way longer than expected, but good for you to know in the future. Get a good couple of hours here, at least. All right, back on the road again. We're just gonna follow the coast, uh, do some stops. Don't know where we're staying tonight, don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna enjoy the weather. So we drove for about five minutes, pulled up at West Bay. This car park, around the beach, another beautiful walk if we want it. Uh, you can sleep, uh, well, it says don't sleep overnight, but it's a long-term stay free from 6 p.m. till 8 a.m., like the other one, so good to know. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, that's not that bad. Oh, actually, fuck me, this. <laughs> I lied. Oh, gorgeous. So, let's do another little stop off at a place called the Swannery. Abbotsbury! <laughs> Gonna see some swans, beach. way better than uh, we thought it would be by the way it's 10 pounds each to get in and it's all goes to, like uh, conservation i think well most of it goes to conservation swans but like now's the best time you can see all the nests we just saw some eggs but i can capture it on this camera um and all the males sat next to the nest and they're building and helping each other build the nests and it's so cool are you enjoying it it's yeah good, yeah it? it's all right it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite, quite interesting never seen a swan's nest before no it's really cool like perfect time to come good morning um so this is where we camped last night, let me show you. Lovely field, I spotted just outside the Red Lion pub. Hold on, I'll take you on a little walk. So yeah, we were actually driving down, we were gonna turn down that road and we saw the Red Lion pub and I saw they had a sign that camping was available. So we could all sit out here, we had a few drinks, it was lovely. And yeah, they have a field just back here and it's 20 pounds a night. They have no facilities, obviously you can use the toilets in the pub there when they're open, but um, they have power if you want that. I don't know if that's extra. Just head on into the field, 20 quid. Got some lovely pub grub and a few pints. Yeah, great time. So, another day of adventure. As you can see, we had to really fight for a space in the camping field. 
back in Charlie's jumper, which I've been wearing the whole time um, of our trip. So we're going to start heading back later today up towards the Cotswolds, where we'll probably try and stay at the Daneway Inn if they're open, uh, like we did last time. But uh, yeah, we're going to hop along the coast for a little bit, see a little bit more, and then make our way inland at what's been a really awesome time. It is Friday today, yeah? yeah. So we get back this Saturday at some point. We don't know. We're just taking it day by day. It's so nice and relaxing. We're so free, aren't we? Just do what yeah. we want. But yeah, we're going to head back onto the coast now and do a little bit more exploring because it's so bloody gorgeous. And look at the weather again. Good golly. So thank you, Red Lion. It was an absolute treat staying here. So is this where we were going to camp last night? Yeah. In a quarter ah. of a mile. Welcome to Durdlebore. One way. Camper van parking, 15 pounds. All right, well there you go. 15 quid if you want to stay here. But look at the view you got when you wake up. Look at the hill it's on though. This would have been awful. There's no flat piece. I would have been scared that it would roll off the edge with a yeah. dodgy handbrake. <laughs> we have a real dodgy handbrake, gotta be careful. So yeah, this would be one hell of a place to stay. I mean, it doesn't have a bar. Very upsetting for all involved. Um, but you do get a banging view. It's not too bad. It's a little bit flatter here on this side. But the rest is quite hilly. So apparently it's 15 pounds for the night for camper fans and there are toilets. Don't know if there's showers, there might be, but I'm not sure. But damn, what a view. Right, so there you go. There's two in this vicinity that you can camp at. the road again I'm gonna head up uh, towards the Cotswold so we're going inland now the weather is stunning but the wind is violent it's really nice and warm like really nice and warm but the wind is chilly and it's really strong it's frosty today. and it's yeah, yeah it blows you back and we're getting sand in our eyes constantly it's like that piercing wind as well when it starts like getting in your ears and stuff yeah your ears. you can't get away from it yeah. unless you stand between two buildings so yeah saying goodbye to the coast so we're pretty much going to be heading up in a straight route towards like Sirencester, uh, back to the edge of the Cotswold. So we'll see how far we get. See if the van starts. Whoa, look at that. I know. Look, I mean, Jesus. <laughs> oh, she's a beast. She's a beast. What a beauty. First issue, had to pull off the side of the road because Scott's brakes engaged. Right, time to get Jack out. Here is my father's and Scott's theory, because obviously you gotta call your dad. Hey, how you doing? Um, that something in the brake has expanded and it won't lock it, but it's like giving resistance. So the brake is constantly engaged in the back wheel and it's red hot. So gotta jack her up. Oh really? Yeah. No. Oh. 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 Bit of movement. Yeah, released it. Yeah. It's not in gear, is it? So basically, my dad, my dad is a mechanic. Um, well, it used to be anyway. But basically, what's happening is because I've been using the handbrake, and the handbrake shit, and something's gone on with the linkages. Basically, the the hubs got stuck, so the handbrake stayed on. So it's got hot, and then it's just expanded, and it's basically just stuck on. So I hit it with a hammer a few times, and now, as you can see, it's turning around. So woohoo! Oh. Scrap what I just said. It's done it again. Now it's screaming the back wheel. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we have, we have break. Forget this, forget this shoe. Forget this bag. Yeah. 
I mean, this is what travelling's all about, innit? Hammering the shit out of the drum of the brake in Morrison's car park. At least we've got a nice sunset. Fucking goals, man. Hashtag goals. Fan life. These are my brake pads on this wheel. So they're proper, proper fucked. Um, so now I have no brake pads on this side, on this back side. So we're going to try and make it to the pub and then we're going to try and make it home tomorrow. But I'm just going to have to go easy on the braking until I can fix the, uh, the brake pad issue. The brake yeah. pad issue? <laughs> <laughs> well all, done, Chess. All fun and games, isn't it? Yeah. I miss planes. <laughs> Well, business park. It's where planes come to die. <laughs> where they come to die. Look at these babies in a row. Jesus. This is mad. Oh, wow, they've got their engines on. Oh, yeah. Well, that one has one. Oh, it must be being built or... What go. is going on? Repaired? I don't know. Beauties. Okay, good morning. This is our last day. After all of the drama with the brake just disintegrating on us um, and us not having a brake to get anywhere, we uh, came back to the Daneway Inn, if you remember it from our first trip and last trip that we took, um, and they remembered us. They actually remembered us in the camper van, so they let us stay again uh, in the car park. So we had a few drinks, got to catch up with them. They got a lovely little beer garden there from. Um, so that was really, really nice. Um, and they said we can come back whenever we want. Just let them know that it's us and um, they're more than happy to have us back. So yeah, that was great. I had a beautiful night's sleep. Had to put the heater on this morning because it was absolutely freezing, but it's gonna be another gorgeous day. So we're gonna head back to Birmingham now. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, Thank you for watching. It's weird traveling again. Um, I think I need to get back into the swing of vlogging my adventures. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this vlog was somewhat okay and very good 4% battery. All right, loving, leaving, subscribe, like, follow, all the good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.